All right, welcome back to Boxer Gaming and Factorio. Uh, we have just set, um, set up this electronic circuit factory. It's a very basic design. I think almost everyone uses the exact same layout. There's almost nothing you can change on this. Um, you can make it bigger and more efficient, but I like to do these little setups. Okay, so we can see that our chest here is filling up. And actually our copper supply is uh, is handling it quite well. It's quite surprising, really. Yeah, I'm happy. Okay, so let's make some of these. Pick up some more iron ore, some more copper. And make some more, I guess. So this is another one of those things that I'd like to automate. And what I do is I set up a chest and I set up a buffer of just one slot. Uh, and that way I can just come along, pick them up, and suddenly I have 50 of them. Which means that all this downtime waiting, which you don't realize how much you're waiting until you automate it. Uh, it's, it's going to be gone. It's just, it's just glorious. <laughs> it's just so nice. So like now I'm going to pick up some circuits because I will actually start using them instead of making them constantly myself. Uh, also, I want, uh, actually I want to clear this and I want to put that there. So I think I'll be using that more than, than these, but I'll still keep that one there. Okay. So the next step is iron gears. And gears make uh, can be made so incredibly fast that we'll just make it with a normal assembling machine, not a Mark II. The Mark II is basically faster, and it can also make more complicated uh, items. Okay, so you see here we're making wheels already. Now, what I would do in my first playthroughs was then sort of somehow make this ge these gears go all the way across here and then maybe go here but I don't I don't like that anymore uh, what I do now is all localized and that seems to be the consensus as well in general you know it's just better so hang on inserters need gears yes and transport belts need gears okay so now we have two choices we can either make a gear line here you know let's say do you want to do it here really oh yeah why not actually like here whilst we wait for more transfer belts uh, and I think actually that's exactly what I'm gonna do and we're gonna make this quite simple I do like this uh, I've done this this specific design before Oops. And I quite liked it. So I did something like this. Oops. See, it's still off, off the main bus, but it's very small, which I, I really like. It's nice. Alright, so you make gears. You can see it's already making gears. And we don't need to worry about how fast it actually makes it. It's not needed. It'll be fast enough. Okay, the next step that we need is... Hang on. We need iron gear... Iron plates for this. And... For this, we're going to need iron plates as well. So how do I want to do this? See, ideally, I'd I'd like to have iron plates and iron gear wheels on the same line for this because it's enough, if that makes sense. Uh, so I'm just gonna pick that up. One of the really cool things I, I find is that you can just pick things up without any issues because you know that your inventory walls will just use it automatically. All right, so we're going to put this back on there. What this will do, it'll put it only on this side of the belt. And what I then will do is put... Maybe I can just... Take it from this line. Well, bad idea, I think. No, no, let's, let's, let's be good. Um, everything has its own little iron supply. And that way, 
we're just safe. Like we always, you know, like nothing is affecting each other really. Okay. Cool. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Let us set up some production. Make another long beam one. Hang on, uh, you are going to be making that, so you don't actually need this one. You just need that one, and you are going to be making that, so you do need it. Perfect. And once again, I'm going to do the exact same thing where... This annoys me a little bit, man. I like to keep space between buildings usually, but there's really no reason for there to be space between this. I'll do. And we'll make another box. And we limit it to uh, maybe two stacks for now. You can always change that later on. Boom, boom. And we are now making inserters and uh, transport thingies. Quite nice. Now the other thing I could have done is to make these two factories here. In fact, and then just route some circuits down here. In fact, I'm kind of regretting that I have not done that. Hmm. Uh, this is actually a prime example. See um, the gears production? Gears are coming up here. And the inserters are getting all the gears, see? And the transport belts are not getting any. That's because this eats more than this can produce. So, this might help. That'll make it a bit faster. But still no it's letting some go yeah so that's why I do the splitters because that way you don't have any competition they all get some having said that it's going pretty fast production is pretty good right now all right we don't need any of that okay next question do I want to move this down here because what I could do is have it like I'll need to make gears. No, no, no. Why why would I do that? No no reason to. Not not really. I find that space is really not as big of an issue as I thought it would be. I was always a bit afraid not to uh, use too much. Uh hang on. No, whoops. Why did I do that? Stop, 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 stop. Um. It's a bit of an awkward thing, but that works. I don't know if it's the most efficient one, but whatever. Okay, so... We can get you on the ground. And uh, into the signs. Now the signs is kind of slow, so it doesn't need any fast inserters. Just these slow ones will do. Really? Whatever. I'm going to be out of electricity balls. I'm going to need to make some steel now. Done. There you go. And that's how you make green signs. And the circuits we can use later on. It's quite nice. Uh, we might actually even be able to... Uh... Change this up a little bit. Go 
Because what I'd ideally want is a full build. So this will equally make them on the build like that. Nice little trick. Very easy. This is uh, quite something. <laughs> there must be a better way to do this. I mean, I could have gone like one more tile this way, but I'd, I'd rather not do that. Okay. So we're going to leave this area clear. This is for the blue signs later on. Although we will have logistic robots by then. No, no, let's let's keep this empty. Um, let's start making some of these annoying things automatic because they take forever to build and I just don't want to be doing that constantly. So uh, iron plates, gear wheels and electronic circuits and then that just needs a little bit more of exactly the same thing. So let's make a line that does that. I think we can filter or pilfer the circuits from here. So all we would need is um, iron plates and gears and then circuits. Okay. All right. So I'm probably thinking about something like uh, see now I have to make more already. It's annoying. <laughs> so I'm probably thinking of something like this. Where, oh god, don't I split aside? I need to automate those as well. See, it becomes really time consuming to make these things yourself. It's almost impossible. Yeah, so I'm thinking like this with a box in between. That's my box there. So. It'll do something like that. Another box there. So this will be making normal assembling machine. This will be making the fast ones. And I do want to have some normal assembling machines as well. Because, uh, well, hmm. Do I? Do I? Hmm. No, I guess technically yes, but if I wanted to be very efficient, then the answer to that would be yes. Uh, however, I don't care about efficiency that much, so I'm happy to just ignore it. Oh god, no power. I mean no power supply. Power towers thingies poles thank you electricity poles thank you <laughs> bit of an issue there okay so i think that will do so the we'll just make this go down here oh hang on that's dumb That's done. We need the gears. I can probably... What if I make the gears here? That might work. Hang on. It's a bit tricky. No, not there. There. Whoops. Like that. Really? And then this will be outputting it onto the far side of the track. And And this will be put it on this side. That will do perfectly, I think. My gears. Mm. 
there we go. Now I'm fine again with this being one belt because we're just not going to make it that fast. I just don't care. Okay. So again, because we're not going to make them that fast and I don't really care how fast they make, I will use normal inserters for this at least. And uh, how fast does this, how long does this take? 6.8 seconds and it requires a lot of materials. So no, we're going to use a fast inserter on this and a fast inserter on that. I know we probably should do two, but I think one is fine. Again, more than likely, these will not be working at full speed and in, 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 you know, at all. Hmm. Oh, oops. All right, so that will work and it will make these level twos. I could make level ones that are a bit more sort of resource um, efficient however I don't really care <laughs> okay so see we don't have any inserters why don't we have any inserters oh wow people are now raging because this is very annoying uh, did I really do that <laughs> wow that's why the hell did I do that this doesn't make any sense <laughs> no no I mean, it's fine, but... Wait, is it? No, it is working. See, I think these have a preference for one side of the track, which is why the left side is still full. But I'm assuming that this will just get stuck, and then it'll all go that way anyway, so... Should be fine. It's a bit weird. I might have to uh, fix this later on, but for now, I'll just uh, keep it that way. Okay, so we're getting inserters, uh, and we can actually go... Um, oh, no, it's not. Uh, but we can go like this. Boop. 100 transport belts. Thank you. And we can go here. 19. Control click. 19 assembly machine 2. That would have taken me forever to make before. Nice. The next thing to automate, I think... Uh, well, hang on. No. The next thing is steel we need to make steel because when we make steel we can start doing some proper armor actually let's uh, research that already uh, yeah we can do some armor and we can also start um, some proper defenses and stuff and oil mm -hmm. so you can now see that the uh, the copper is actually running out there's not enough copper being pushed down this line sure there's enough here on the main bus but the actual input of the copper is not enough. So let's just add a few more mines next episode. A few more mines and uh, probably just almost a whole row of smelters. Maybe not a whole row, but like till here. Four on each side. All right, thanks for watching. I hoped you enjoyed the episode and I am um, well, I hope you enjoyed the whole series, really. Let me know uh, if you want anything to change, even though it might not. <laughs> and I will see you next time.